Maya with a J. Yes, uh, and uh, I've got an admin announcement first. So I'm going to be a bit longer than other comedians. So I can't it's fine here. Yeah? I've got two hours set prepared. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, we all know, ladies. We all know. Yeah, we're gonna last longer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I've just I'll, uh, alienated half of my audience, <laughs> uh, but uh, multiple orgasms. No, it's cool, yeah. Fine. So, uh, um, you see, the thing is, I tend to say things like this. Um, I tend to alienate people, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, it is because <laughs> I was actually told, I know, I was told um, in the business they call me the foot putter. Because I put my foot in it, yeah, I do. I'm too proud of it, yeah. Uh, it is because I'm actually. Autistic. Woo. I know. Woo. With those boobs. Woo. Oh, those boobs. I mean, with those boobs. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm a psychiatrist. We can see the boobs. People tell me all the time. They're like, Maya, Maya, Maya. You don't look autistic. I'm like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, you know, um, you don't look like. No, actually, you do look like a cunt. Sorry. But, um, <laughs> Quite new, you know, I had to wait many, many years. Yeah, true story. Uh, I'm actually in my 40s, I know I look younger, stop it. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you my trick, uh, ladies. Okay, write it down. Thing is, I sleep with young boys, drink their blood, but they go happy. It's a weird way to put them. And if you're Gen Z, if you're Gen Z, yeah, you're all worth it, yeah. So, uh, you, you might actually recognize me, some of you might recognize me, yeah, from porn. Lady never tells. Uh, but, uh, I love meeting my fans. We'll meet after the show. But, uh, yeah, so you might recognise me actually. True story, yeah, there's a massive movie franchise called Fantastic Beasts. Ooh. It's not about my boobs, so it should be. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what I call them in private, yeah. No, <laughs> in the movie, yeah. No, anyone, yeah? Harry Potter, yeah, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. There's this horrible evil witch, yeah, you know. Horrible evil witch, yeah. And she murders this innocent baby boy. <gasps> I got paid for killing children. I mean, Lucy, let me eat your heart out. <laughs> in prison. I mean, come on, it's called black humor. So he, also, I have 11 nephews and nieces. That she gets annoying, okay? So, uh, <laughs> of course, it's a joke, okay? Maybe I shouldn't say it, you know, black humor, yeah. I shouldn't say it. I love my nephews and nieces, but um, maybe I shouldn't say it because, you know, it perpetuates this myth that people with autism like us, yeah? That we have no empathy. We do! I did say, how are you doing? Fuck, I'm empathy. You're fucking calm, you know? <laughs> But it's calculated. <laughs> yeah, and you have to deserve it. And uh, let's be honest, looking at you, you know, probably most of you don't. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to do new stuff. You fuck it, let's do new stuff because you know I'm going to I'm going to do something positive. Something. Anyone single here? Anyone single here? Yeah. Yeah. Finish with something positive, motivational message, yeah, something new. Because uh, I'm going to tell you guys, actually, secret, yeah, I'm actually a super funny comedian. Like, fuck, I'm so funny. Connor's like, stop it, my, my, my stomach hurts. Go to the gym, Connor. But uh, yeah, yeah, I've got really funny jokes about being single, but I can't tell you these jokes. I can't because I'm actually not single anymore. Ooh! Look at me, fucking weird. I've got a boyfriend. I mean, I'm too hot. I'm hot. So, um, and I, I thought you could help me out, yeah? Because, like, I'm autistic. Like, I love forest. I love my headphones. People, um, you've got your moments, okay? But, um, you know, so it's new to me. And I thought you could give me some advice. Because I didn't know in a relationship, did you know, in a relationship, you have to sacrifice things that you love the most. Oh, did you know that? Fuck, I didn't know that. Do you know what I had to sacrifice? Do you know what I had to sacrifice for my boyfriend, yeah? Farting. Fucking love my farting, you know? Because people have been the single people. You see our home, yeah? You've just had a really big dinner. You look at the fox. Fox is like, baby, look, hold on, let's stop it. <laughs> you know? You look at the fox and you go for like, boom, 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 boom. Or like, one of those poetic farts. <laughs> Not, yeah, we've all been there. You can't do this in a relationship, I was told. And you're going to tell me, Maya, you can do this. You can do this later on, you know? When you... I'm not there yet. I'm like, my boyfriend. My farting. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's not easy because I truly, deeply, truly, deeply love my farting. You know? I, I, I do. I do. I know. I know, right? But you know, something positive. So, first of all, I'm going to tell you two things. I'm going to finish with two things. Number one, there was research done showing that if we fart in the presence of our partner, we might protect them from our time on dementia. <laughs> You're welcome. Also, I knew I was kind, but I didn't know I was that kind. I mean, you know, fucking. And also, um, so number two, if you like my jokes, my Instagram is actually Planet Maya. Why? I thought I should share this. My friends tell me I'm like from a different planet. Wonder why? Wonder why? Fuck, you know, wonder why? You know, I fucking stole my shit spaceship. I can't go back. And number two, if you didn't like my jokes, babe, come on, it's fine.
fine, it's fine, listen, it's fine. It's fine. I'm half Eastern European and my friend Ivan is outside the door. Okay? Just Someone joking. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you so much for that.